my question is how do I stop my health issues being a barrier to finding someone? I've lived with cancer for the last six years and staying strong to get through the treatment is part of how I deal with it. So how do I let my vulnerability come through while still staying strong to get through the treatment and looking after my children is such a large part of who I am. And of course, all I've ever wanted is to be looked after. Yeah. Charlie, are you here, honey? Are you, are you here live? Um, I would invite you, Charlie, to choose to choose to stop allowing your health issues to be a story that blocks you to having what you desire because you said of course all I've ever wanted is to be looked after I invite you to choose a different story I'm not saying that that story doesn't feel true to you and I'm not discounting the way that you feel and I invite you to choose a different story because telling yourself that isn't going to get you what you desire yeah um, on the subject of vulnerability, um, I do feel that you're being invited into vulnerability and to discover that it's a strength. Two people are stronger than one. So with all that you've got going on with your health and your children, I bet you're absolutely amazing at managing it all and I bet you are so strong. And there is strength in your vulnerability. And when I believe when you can open up to somebody else and allow them to help you. So again, that's the feminine. The feminine is awesome at asking for what she needs and allowing herself, giving herself permission, loving herself enough to receive that. You are being strong now. I wonder if you'd experience more strength with someone journeying by your side in a way that you get to experience your vulnerability as a strength. You're not a victim, it's not a weakness. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just choosing to share your life with somebody else. That's when you become the partners in crime. And there's something else I wanna say on this for you. I feel like the there's this strength that's masculine, that's, that wants to control, to keep everybody and everything safe. And then there's the strength of the feminine that is able to surrender and receive and trust that she and her, her family, her children are gonna be taken care of in a way she could never have figured out that she's opening herself up to a, a, a miracle that she could never have made happen, which is the masculine, like make it happen, figure it out, know the how, timeline it, timeline it, tick list it, you know? Um, I think the vulnerability of allowing help and support could then take you on a path to receiving support from life the universe, God, in a way you could, that could blow your brains, you know, it could just blow your mind if you were to open up to that. When we honor our desires, so your desire was all I've ever wanted is to be looked after. That's your heart's desire. That's your soul's voice. All I've ever wanted is to be looked after. If you could be courageous enough to vulnerably allow yourself to be looked after, when we honor our desires, miracles happen. I kind of started to say that before, but something felt like it was coming through on another level that I just I wanted to, to share with you. It's when we honor what our heart is calling us to so much else in our life starts to line up that we could never have predicted. So much else starts to slot into place. Like a lot of the women I work with um, around calling in their soulmates, what we start to see is, you know, job opportunities coming up, pay rises, um, healed relationships with other people in their life, um, 
all sorts of different things start to align, their health improves, different things start to align, which they didn't expect because they're here to call in their guy. But actually loads of other stuff starts slotting into place because they're more aligned with the truth of who they are. So their vibrational frequency is more pure. There's more clarity. They're more open. You know, even life, God, the universe can access us when we're vulnerable and open, not just other people. That connection is like alive. It's like we're like hardwired into source energy and shit starts happening. Miracles start happening in a way you couldn't imagine. So you honoring that desire goes way beyond your health, that relationship, your children. So much else in your life can shift when you honor it. That's what I feel like I wanted to share. I hope that's helpful.